The Board of Regents signed the University of Iowa's private-public partnership deal yesterday. DITV Director John Rawson has a deeper look at what this means for the university. John, what can you tell us? Well, Emily, the University of Iowa just signed a 50-year P3 deal with companies NG and Meridian for them to operate and maintain the university's utilities. And in exchange, Iowa was given over $1.1 billion lump sum up front from those two companies. And the University of Iowa President Bruce Harold hopes this will help the university climb out of some financial holes. And everybody cringes when I say it, but I think it's the truth. We're on a glide path to mediocrity. And I think this institution has got much more potential. And so the question becomes, what's the role of, of public higher education? And where, where's the funding going to come from? Now, there has been some public backlash due to a risk involved in a deal like this. But President Bruce Harold assures the public he's built in those cushions. And their leaders won't be there for 50 years. I won't be here for 50 years. And so we're building a, a, a working relationship with a, an entity whose leaders will change through time. Those types of changes, those length of uh, contracts are risky indeed. But we've tried to put in place um, a little bit like I, at times was referred to it like writing the U.S. Constitution, which you have to create some values and principles you, bet you stand on. Deals like this have been signed by universities across the country, including fellow Big Ten school Ohio State, and the university is hoping that this will bring them long lasting financial stability while also limiting their environmental impact as it's part of the university's plan to be coal free by 2025. Emily, back to you. Thanks, John. This deal is expected to generate a total of $3 billion for the university by the end of the 50 year contract.